It's always good when you start the week off remembering you forgot to close last week's vlog. <laughs> hey guys, it is Sunday. It's almost lunchtime. It's like 10 minutes to noon. Um, February 12th, I think. I need to um, go downstairs and make some cornbread. Um, it's Super Bowl Sunday and Bob bought some chili. We didn't make it this year because when I make the chili, we'll have enough chili for about 12 people and that's a lot of chili. So he just bought a little bit of chili. Anyway, but I'll make him some cornbread and I think we're gonna just hang out around the house. We've had a lazy lay-in Sunday morning, just sleeping in, drinking coffee, relaxing, that sort of thing. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I'll probably do some painting and sketching and yeah. I'm alright with that. We'll try to get a walk in before the game starts. I think the game starts at like three o'clock. Try to get a walk in before then. And I have my Fitbit. I forgot to plug it in last night, so it's downstairs charging. Anyway. How are you guys planning on spending your Sunday? I would love to know. I just opened some happy meal. Happy meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really did have all my coffee this morning, I swear. Um, I just opened some happy mail on camera from my friend Kathy Whitney. And then I forgot to open yesterday and film for last week's vlog. But anyway, she sent me a couple of pieces of artwork made with art foamies. They are so cute. And um, a beautiful cut of fabric. If you don't know, I love skulls and I love skull prints. Um, and a beautiful note. Kathy, I love you too. And I appreciate you. And I thank you so much. And the envelope is even pretty. So, you know, I'm not throwing that away because I have to do something with that. Guys, before... We have lunch and before the football game, Bob and I are gonna go for a walk. His motivation is so he can eat more food. So, so we're gonna go get some steps in. It is cold out here. Um, it's in the mid forties. Ah, and it's a little bit windy, which is making it feel colder. But anyway, we're gonna go get it done and I'll yeah, be back. And Bob's downstairs watching football. I'm gonna go down there in just a minute, but um, I came up to do a painting. Yes, I did. Another abstract-ish painting. I love the way it turned out. Um, I also wasn't going to do this over again, but after sharing the new urban sketching boxes I did last week, I realized on the wooden one, I put the pen loops the wrong way because if you put pens in there, it won't close because it's the space isn't long enough in the lid. So I really should have put the pen holders the other way. So I, I remade it. So I'll show you what I mean. So if you put this on, which so if you saw the, in case you haven't seen the video last week, I have this piece I made for the lid. It's held in with magnets. There's a little extra space behind it, like a secret compartment. And if you put the brushes or pens in the lid this way, the way I made it, you can see it's too long. The box is not going to close. I should have made it so that the pens and brushes sit this way. Or pens or brushes, I should say. So I remade it. I have more of this wood. And I made it so the loops go the other way. So the pens and or brushes will fit this way. So it is drying right now. And I did the stain and now in here is dry. It is a little bit patchy, but this is an urban sketching box. So is it gonna get dirty? It's gonna get messy. Does that mean I won't maybe put a piece of paper back there? No, that's not what that means. I haven't decided yet, so. I did get asked recently if I'm gonna sell any of these. I didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. Um, I also made myself a pen, pen case, pencil, paintbrush, roll, a roll. Um, I was thinking that maybe I would use the roll in here, which actually I could, but then I just decided to remake the board. That doesn't mean I'm going to get rid of this. I'll save it because I'm sure I'm going to use it for something, but anyway. This one is over here drying and ready to go. It only has three loops to hold things on the other side. I'm sorry, it has one, two, three. It has four loops instead of five. Yeah, but that should still be plenty. Anyway, I think 
it's time to let things dry, let things be, and maybe go downstairs. I don't know if this is gonna work and I don't know if it's gonna stick, but I'm gonna try putting some green. I have this really pretty, green is a color for me this year. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm gonna try putting this green contact paper, geez, my hair's a mess, um, in the inside of some parts of the inside of this wooden box. Let's see if it'll work. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work. Let's see. thousand things together and it's drying but oh my god look some of the green contact paper on the flat surfaces I found some trim in my stash of like a million things I have <clears throat> and I e6000 around the edge of the contact paper but also glued the trim in how nice is that and then once the new board dries that'll fit in there and it'll be a really pretty, I'm thinking more of a drawing box than a, than a paint box, but I mean, nice, I love it. Okay, but now I think maybe we're done. Maybe, no guarantees. I'll okay, be you guys, I decided to make the cardboard cigar box prettier too. I took off the pen holder that was inside of it that I glued to the lid because it didn't like the way it looked and we're gonna use the pen roll in this box. And then, I mean, how do you not like that? You open it up to get your stuff out to do some art, and I mean, right? Just makes you smile. All right, so that one is done. And this is the outside, if you didn't see last week's video. Um, and the other one is drying. And then we'll put it together. But of course, you know, new table. Bigger than the old one. It's a good thing because it's covered with stuff. <laughs> I'll be That's back. not something you see on my street every day. I live on a little tiny street. Anyway. So I'm not sure how far we're gonna get, but I'm gonna put my hood up and put my gloves on. And we're gonna go try to at least get a few steps in, even if it means we only go around the block. Um, video is rendering and all that. I know I haven't vlogged before this morning but it's been hectic, it's Monday. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a painting done, I got the two new um, art boxes um, fine-tuned and actually set up with supplies in them, um, which I will share a little, you know, a little later. And yeah, it's been a good morning. The little ones came by to visit. Uh, I love the painting that I did. Anyway, let's go get some steps in before we get rained on. I'll be back. Maybe drizzling, but I'm hot. I'm trying to keep up a pace. We try to do about a 19 minute mile. So anyway, it's easier with Bob here because he just naturally walks super fast. So I have to just keep reminding myself to not slow down. Anyway. May be drizzly, but I'm warm. All right, let's go by the duck pond and then take a little bit of a cut through to get home. I would say shortcut, but it's not really a shortcut. And it's, yeah, gonna start dumping in a minute, so I better put the phone away. Hey, 
you must come here when it's stormy out. Guys, it is just after three o'clock on Tuesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I was filming a video for Artsy Trio back there on the table. I've been having battery problems with my camera. My old batteries are really old and don't want to stay charged anymore. So I did get a new battery, but in the meantime, I've got two boxes of camera stuff up here and I'm not going to film this for our fixing the flow video, but I do think I'm going to go through it right now. So let's get it down and put it on the desk. stuff <laughs> okay I do use this so I'm gonna keep that these are from my batteries I don't know why I saved the box they do come with oh, that's interesting one has a lens cloth in it I don't know why um, they do come with like car charger things and European plugs. I guess I'll hang on to those, but I don't think they need to be in the box. Let's see if we can save some room. Camera, I guess for now we better hang on to. We do have a GoPro. It's fairly new. My husband said recently maybe it's time to switch to the GoPro. He's not wrong, but not super excited about that. Oh, that's good. So I have a case for my headphones, but are they in here? No. They're here. How about if we just put things away? That might like be handy. <laughs> Let me dump this out. This, yeah, what is in here? Okay, first let's put the headphones away. There's their charger in there, which is great. Another box of parts on more tripods. Because, you know, these going I made you fall over, sorry. Have a another cleaning cloth, another cleaning cloth. How many of those do I have? Cleaning solution. I don't even know what that is. Does anybody know? What is in this? What is in here? Oh, yeah, this is urban sketching and tripod parts. So this is one of these. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna make this tri this box tripod parts. So extra plates, extra screws, extra bits and pieces. Um, what is this one? Oh, cleaning stuff. The cleaning stuff should be in here. Cleaning stuff, cleaning, how many, how much cleaning stuff do I have? At least I know what's up there now. I mean, you know, I hate to have to dig for stuff. It really drives me crazy. So I went to go get the mail today and Laura, what did you do? <laughs> My friend and a subscriber and a patron and Patreon. Thank you all of you patrons so much, but she sent me happy mail, which I love. Wasn't expecting, oh my goodness, okay. Look at the paper this card is written on. Look at this. I love that. Okay, let's see. Laura, you're most welcome. You are very much more welcome. Um, and I will for sure make something wonderful out of the bits and pieces. I, I mean... I love the card. Okay, and I've been getting, you know, notes and things from you all lately, which I appreciate. Um, and I have kind of enough 
life stuff and happy mail stuff together to do a journal page maybe or something I don't know I don't know we'll find out but oh my goodness you guys oh look at this trim look at that oh, that is a call it was a collar of something Look at the color of this. What else is in here? I should really have my glasses on, but I put them down in a safe place. I don't know where that is. Look at this one. I love that with the little spots of blue, bluish gray there. I love that. There's more. The box is full. It's jammed. Look at this trim. It's another handmade that looks like a tatted trim maybe. That's beautiful. Ooh, a vintage scarf. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Another vintage scarf. Boy, I better not show these to my daughter or some of them might disappear. Look at that. She has a thing for vintage fashion, y'all. And yeah, it's really, she's a fashionista. I never was. It is funny that she's a fashionista because when I was her age, I wanted to go to design school. Anyway, I don't even know if she knows that. Look at this fabric. This would be a great journal cover. And it's like, I don't know what the content is, but it feels like a, a thick silk fabric. We're not, we're not done yet. Look at this, another scarf. Look at this one. Look at that. We're not done yet. Laura, you sent me so much. I, I appreciate it so much. Look at that. That's a sleeve off of something, but the fabric, this feels like silk. So does this one. This is like, um, you know, not a tie. Well, like a women's tie, like you tie a bow around your neck. Oh, here's some more of what feels like some silk, a little bit thicker than the other one, similar color. One more piece, look at this one. I love this. Thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate it. If you all want to send me happy mail, you don't have to, but if you want to, I do appreciate it. Um, my happy mail address is down in the video description. Wow. I did just clean out my fabric bins, but I hope I left enough room to put this in because these are going. I do have a, vid, a bin for vintage fabrics and trims. You know... These do spur some ideas. We'll see, window treatment. I mean, can you see some of these hanging in front of the art room windows with afternoon light shining through them? I mean, come on. Yeah, we might have to do something like that. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna go back to watching some YouTube. I'll be back. It's almost 6.30. Bob just got off of work and it is freezing outside, but we're going to go walking anyway. I know it's probably a big mistake. Um, it's dark out and I'm, and it's very cold, but I'm going to, and I'm going to have gloves on. So I'm probably not doing much filming, but yeah. All right, let's go get some steps in. I'll be back. Okay, everybody. Good morning. The loud sound you hear is the heater because it is all of 34 degrees outside. It is cold. Um, I am going to go out, obviously run the car, I'm going to go out and run a few errands. I'm going to start with um, checking the P.O. box. I got word this morning from the sketchbook project people, I mentioned in another video that they are closing. If you're unfamiliar with the sketchbook project, it was a situation out of New York where they had artists create different sketchbooks full of drawings and they went into a free 
YouTube, uh, free library, traveling library around the country. People could check the sketchbooks out and admire them, get inspired by them. Anyway, I had two sketchbooks in the project and they had a fire, I don't know exactly how long ago, I don't remember, a year ago, maybe a little more. Um, they're closing up the project and they're sending all surviving sketchbooks to someone else who has a similar project in Florida. And if you wanted, you could request to get your books back, which I did. I think you can see where this is going. Yeah, my sketchbooks were destroyed in the fire. So I did download digital copies of both books. And I am going to edit said images for Patreon, and the patrons will get copies of both books. I'm considering recreating one or both, one or both um, for YouTube. I don't know how I feel about that. I have mixed feelings about it. Well, let me know what you all think. Um, the sketchbooks are available still at the time of filming this. The digital library is still up. I don't know how long it's going to stay up, but if I can find the link when I'm editing the video when it's still active, I will put the link down below. If the link doesn't work anymore, I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyway. 30, Wednesday, February 15th. 4.30 in the, in the afternoon, not in the morning. Um, I forgot to vlog today. It's just been a busy day. I went out early this morning to pick up some medication and run some errands. And then I came back and was editing video and I've been doing um, and scheduling all the posts I need to do for March 1st. I realized like it's right around the corner, sort of. I've got two baby showers to take care of for my grandson to be um, between now and then and things are gonna get a little crazy. So. I'm, I'm gonna do them while I, ha while I have a minute, so I did. I also got the Artsy Trio um, edited and up and loaded and it's scheduled and ready to go. I got, I did get a painting done. Um, I have a lot of paintings I've done recently and they're all matted. They're not framed, but they are in matte board, most of them. If I have shared something on social media recently that you really like and you're interested in buying, please message me. Um, I share all of my artwork on Instagram and most of it on Facebook. So check me out over on one of those. And uh, yeah. <sighs> all right, so the computer is doing its thing. I need to pull out some sketchbooks for next month because daily for my daily drawing, because I haven't done that yet either, so. I might as well do it while I have a free five minutes because, yeah, it's going to get crazy. I'll be done today. I not only got the Patreon post for March 1st done, my journal's decorated for March 1st and done, and the word list printed and glued inside of them. By the way, that's what I do. Um, I also have a monthly post I do in my Facebook group, which is done. The Artsy Trio video is done and scheduled. And... Um, the post for, that I'm supposed to do over there is done and scheduled. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about all the stuff, plus all the errands, and I got a plant potted and random stuff around the house. So <clears throat> we're going to go for a walk now. It's not quite dark outside, but it, the sun is setting, so I have a flashlight in my pocket, and we'll get some steps in before we have dinner, and I'll be back. Yeah, today. I don't think I have. It is Thursday, February 16th, I think. It's, I think it's after two o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see. <sighs> Got a lot of stuff to do today. Yeah, it's almost 2.30. Have a lot of stuff to do today. We leave for California in the morning. We are driving down uh, with Jenny and Brian, adopted kids, and, um, because uh, we need to be at the California baby shower, evidently. My daughter's getting two showers, go figure. Um, so we need to be at the California one, which is on Saturday. So we're driving down tomorrow. We will be down there for the party on Saturday and then we're driving home Sunday. Oh, okay, wait, you guys. Like many of us, I think, when Google bought YouTube, we weren't exa sure exactly what to think. And then the whole child protective 
laws and things came up. And since then, there's been changes that I think those of us who have been on YouTube for a while weren't exactly sure what to think of. I just got... Well, recently they changed how they're doing their music, which I haven't quite figured out yet, but the music I'm using is from their free audio library, so I haven't um, I haven't paid for any music. It's from their free library. It's supposed to be copyright free. So um, I haven't checked out any of the new music or looked at it or, or anything. Um, but one of my videos just got a potential copyright strike uh, because they thought the music was copyrighted and that I'm like, um, no. <laughs> and it wasn't showing up in my YouTube studio, which is where we edit and load videos and all that. There was, in the old days, no way to contact YouTube when these things would happen. There was nobody, unless you were, you know, a channel with, you know, 5 million followers, there was no way. Now it's Google. So they have a messenger thing. So I can talk to the messenger thing. And it's not an automated messenger thing. It's a human. And um, I told him what happened. Told him I got this email. And I told him that, you know, first, what is it a legit email? Because you worry if it's just spam. He said, no, it's legit. Our system thought you were using copyrighted music. But I see now that it is something from our free old free library. Anyway, he straightened it out. He was super nice. I'm glad that Google is doing that because... In the old days, there would be nothing I could do until somebody figured out their computer system screwed up. So thank you, Google. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate you so much. All right, on to the next thing. Something a little less stressful, let's hope. Hey guys, good morning. It is very early for me anyway. It's 7.44 a.m. We are waiting for um, Jenny and Brian adopted kids to come pick us up and then we're all four of us driving to California for the first of the two baby showers which is tomorrow and uh, Bob and I are packed and ready to go and have had our coffee and all that stuff so we're just waiting to get picked up. I have a couple of friends who are pretty both pretty seriously ill um, I'm not going to name names because that's a violation of privacy, but some good thoughts sent out there into the universe for them would be much appreciated. And um, if you have any people close to you who are likewise suffering, my good thoughts go back to them. So anyway, okay, now we just need the kids to get here to come pick us up. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, we are at exit 99, I think, somewhere around there. The sign here says Cow Creek Treaty. I don't know where we are, but anyway, we're at the rest stop, stretching our legs. People are taking a potty break. So anyway, cool. I'm walking around, getting some steps in. It's been good so far. So, yeah. We'll stop for lunch in a little bit and then keep going. I'll be back.
is 10 something a.m. I think like 10, 16 a.m. We are in Healdsburg, California. I didn't close the vlog last night because distracted by baby showers for the grandbaby. <laughs> um, I did get one really pretty sunset picture here in California. I will insert it here. Um, and it was a really beautiful party. We got to reconnect with some friends and family we haven't seen in a while, so that was really wonderful. As you can see, it's travel home day and I'm kind of a hot mess, but yeah. Anyway, we stopped in Healdsburg because um, adopted daughter Jenny needs to stop and see her grandmother who is in senior care. She's not doing well and yeah, so we are here, she's doing that. We are going to call a friend of ours who's also not doing well um, and check in on her and um, maybe get some more coffee and then hit the road. We are gonna take our time getting home. Um, but yeah, it ought to be a fun trip. I will take some pictures, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, it's been a fun week. Interesting, we have one more baby shower to go at my house, but yeah. I hope you've all had a great time this week. I hope you found something interesting in the vlog, something inspiring in the vlog. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, my social media, my Patreon, all of that stuff. It's down there, my happy mail address. And uh, above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.